The stage is set. The players are ready. And the whole world is watching. Will we succeed and show that democracy and fairness still exist in Afrinic? Or will the lies and corruption remain deep with the board members of this organization, being exposed for the whole world to see? This is it. It's all or nothing. Do or die, sink or swim. What will it be? Well, it was nothing. It was an epic fail. The AGMM meeting exposed the flaws and the chinks in the armor. Right from the start of this meeting, it was clear that the Afrinic board had ulterior and selfish motives. A lot of resource members who registered for the AGMM didn't receive the necessary tokens needed to attend the meeting first, which means they were effectively locked out. Even the online participants were being ignored and their questions and concerns were not addressed. It got so heated that a resource member had to call to adjourn the meeting for one hour until all the issues had been taken care of. However, the Afrinic board didn't allow this to happen, even though they were required to by law. This caused quite a stir in the meeting until multiple online participants would not allow the meeting to continue until this motion was put forward. This is what Afrinic has become. An organization that looks to shut its members up and discourage dissent through manipulation and bullying. But friends, brace yourself, because this wasn't the end of the farce that was this AGMM. In the morning of the AGMM, a resource member noticed that there was a ton of police present at the event. Apparently, they were investigating the criminal conduct of the Afrinic board and its management. Being curious and worried, of course, they asked why this was the case. But the board members of Afrinic and the CEO, they ignored his questions. Don't change the channel because there's more. Because in light of the Afrinic board and its CEO ignoring the concerns of online participants to favor those in attendance, our resource member put forward a motion that the meeting be postponed for seven days until all members can be given a fair opportunity to speak and to raise their concerns. Can you guess what happened next? If you guess that the board and the CEO ignored this request and continued with the meeting, then you guess correctly. This debacle lasted for over 20 minutes as more resource members asked that the motion be heard, but the CEO and Afrinic board ignored their requests. Such blatant disregard for the bylaws and legitimate concerns of the resource members is why the current leadership of Afrinic needs to be removed. The irregularities were far from over because the financial statements put forward by the Afrinic board and CEO were full of discrepancies. A resource member pointed out that there was a discrepancy with the statements and asked for an explanation. But Afrinic declined to clarify. Also, when a resource member asked if any member of the Afrinic board was under criminal investigation and how much Afrinic has spent on personal legal fees for its board members, the board lied and said none. When we all know this isn't true, when they clearly passed a board resolution to cover board members' personal lawsuit expenditure. And what's more, have we suddenly forgotten that the CEO and the entire board is currently under investigation for contempt of court? You see, the resource members smelled that something was fishy and they came with their bait and hawk ready to expose the corruption within Afrinic. A particular resource member noticed that so many things weren't adding up financially. So he asked if Afrinic had budgeted to extend financial resources to defend former board members or board members that hadn't been re-elected because of the current injunction stopping the election. He also wanted to know 
what amount had been budgeted to deal with the fact that Afrinic has no external auditors and no approved audited financial statements from the previous financial year. All legitimate questions. But you can guess what happened next. The Afrinic leadership said that they couldn't comment on events that happened while the meeting was ongoing, effectively ignoring valid and legitimate concerns that had been raised. The coup de grace came when there was a sudden meeting that took the online participants by surprise. You might be wondering what this means. I'm glad you asked. Now, before the sudden meeting refresh, there was a barrage of questions and concerns being raised by many resource members online. It was so much that Afrinic couldn't keep up with the concerns and were constantly ignoring the members. If you can't ignore them any longer, then you can reduce the amount of noise they make. And this seems to be the stance taken by the Afrinic board. What looked like a mere technology issue was more than that, because once the reset was done, Almost half of the online participants were removed from the meeting. To add insult to injury, it was discovered that Afrinic's financials with regards to profit were all wrong. A resource member stated that Afrinic made $1.2 million in 2019 and nearly $2 million in 2021. However, the recorded legal fees amounted to well over half a million dollars. And this is probably way more than that because there's discrepancies. The organization actually had a surplus of $1.5 million. Now this means that Afrinic generated a surplus of 20% of their revenue. But under Mauritian law, where Afrinic is based, a non-profit, even while accumulating surplus for reserves, may not accumulate more than 15% surplus in a year. How exactly is the board going to deal with this massive excess surplus without continuing to put their tax exempt status at risk? Why didn't the auditors specify anything about the excessive amount of surplus being made by Afrinic as a non-profit? All essential questions that the Afrinic leadership did not address. Ask yourself this vital question as a resource member. Where and who is all the money going to? Finally, let's address the non-com report. How was this allowed to be reported when the whole election had been put on hold by an injunction? This was the same reaction echoed by a resource member who asked the whole community to disregard the report of the NOMCOM since it is fraudulent. Resource members want to know what the obvious reasons are for the NOMCOM chair not presenting the board seats nomination process and what will be done for the board seats that will become vacant after the meeting. The board had no answer. At last, we come to the end of this grueling five-hour meeting that promised so much and offered so little. With bullying and so many questions and concerns of resource members left unanswered, this meeting exposed the fatal flaws and corruption within the current Afrinic leadership. Now, the question I want you to ask yourself is this. Do you want more of this moving forward? Do you want leadership that constantly ignores the bylaws to serve its own selfish interests? Do you want a leadership that decides who gets to answer the questions and what questions they answer? Or do you want honesty and transparency? Do you want your voice to be heard? Do you want a leadership that isn't being investigated for corruption and wrongdoing? What Afrinic needs is a leadership that upholds the strong values of this organization and caters to the needs of every resource member. As NRS members, we need to stand for what we believe is right, for the safety and freedom of the internet, regardless of Afrinic board bullying and speech harassment. We support every resource member who faced bullying from Afrinic board members in that meeting, just because he was addressing their obvious corruption and unlawful mistakes. What we ask from you as an internet user is to support us in this fight for the freedom, safety, and transparency of the internet because we know that we all care about the future of the internet, but the current Afrinic board only care about their benefits. How can you show us your support? Awareness is the key word here. Spread awareness about our case. Show the world what the Afrinic board is doing through our videos. And let's say no together 
to the corrupted board of Afrin that want to destroy the internet as we know it, to protect the internet for the next generation so they can enjoy it as, as we are. And sign this petition now to have your voice heard. Suspend all the corrupted board of their director powers and make the right people take position and lead Afrin to a peaceful future and a prosperous internet for all.